I can do this. So you said that you started to have some really amazing anal experiences in your personal life. Mm-hmm. What do you think facilitated that? What made them amazing? Um, well, with one person, like he was like, Hey, like, this is kind of like my forte. I am pretty good at like easing girls <laughs> into the this. Inner master. <laughs> um, so I was like, okay, like this is something I'm like really interested in. Mm-hmm. And, and yeah, I definitely, it, those experiences definitely kind of taught me, like once I figured out like what felt good and how to get there, then I was able to like apply that with other people too. And what did this like? What did this anal extraordinaire master like? What did he do to um, like make it so great? I don't know. We just went like really slow, okay. and I wasn't like anything like that special. Um, but yeah, I don't know. His, his dick was like pretty like great for anal. Like not mm-hmm. all guys have good anal dicks. Mm-hmm. What um, makes a good anal dick? <sighs> I mean, I don't know. I guess it's different for every girl. Obviously, uncircumcised is definitely, like, best because, mm-hmm. like, the uh, – I don't know. You know how some dicks are, like, really hard and, mm-hmm. like, other dicks are – you know, they get hard, but they're still, like, have a little, like, bit give. Of squish around them? A little them. bit of give, yeah. Yeah, like, that's, like, the best because when a dick is, like, just too hard in your ass, like, it's great in your pussy because it, like, you know, hits your G-spot mm-hmm. and – but in the ass, it's, like, not as mm-hmm. great, so – yeah, and I know for me, it's like I can't handle like super, super thick dicks. Like mm-hmm. there was definitely like some were within my movie. Like all the scenes were great, but some were more challenging than others, mm-hmm. just because of you know my partner's like girth and mm-hmm. size. And yeah, okay, so uh, not as girthy. Yeah, the chemistry is honestly like I think the most important uh, right factor. Like yeah. if I have really great chemistry with somebody, then like it's so much easier than. Somebody that I'm just kind of like, yeah, you know, because I mean, ultimately it's a muscle, right? So the yeah. more we relax, yeah. the better experience we're going to have. Mm-hmm. A lot of times bad anal experiences are attributed to just being nervous and uptight. And yeah. if your partner can't make you feel relaxed, then it's generally not going to be a good experience. Yeah. I also learned, and like, I always think about this. So I learned from Lucy Hart because when she was talking about like going through her transition, um, she was talking about like, there's this like butthole doctor in New York, <laughs> I swear to God, like this is, so, it was such an eye opening experience. That's why I love this podcast. I learned so much. So apparently like you can have your anal cavity modified to take dick better. Yeah. So I right. guess some people can do better anal because their anal cavity is more straight. Yeah. And then others like are to die. I heard there's like, um, there's they, like, like a bend. second, like. Um, there was like a second like valve. I don't know if that's the yeah, right word, but like, second dimension. Yeah, there's like a second kind of like sphincter. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that like that's like the hard part to yeah. to get through to like go super deep. Yeah. Wow, that's crazy. Right. So apparently he can like I don't know fix your anal cavity wow. so you can like take dick better. Yeah, because I'm so jealous of girls who just have like easy assholes. Like I do not have an easy <laughs> asshole. Like it was really like in my 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 routine going up to it is like very delicate like if I don't do what I need to do like I'm yeah like I need to be in the perfect situation for it to happen um but other girls are like yeah I just like you know kind of clean out a little day of and then just like pop a dick in there some girls prefer it yeah I'm like I have to do so much stretching if I don't stretch properly like it's gonna be way harder yeah I'm so jealous of girls with flexible stretchy assholes (laughs) (sighs) I remember Katsuni was someone that um Katsuni not Katsumi because these are two different people. She was French, actually. Mm. Um, and uh, she preferred anal. It Actually, sometimes vaginal sex would, like, hurt her. Yeah. And she almost always wanted anal sex. Yeah, and I've I heard that from remember... so many big anal girls. And I'm like, yeah. wow. Like, what? But, yeah. So now you know. So go to this doctor's name. I don't know who he is. Go listen to the Lucy Hart <laughs> episode. He maybe names him. I don't, I don't remember. Um, she maybe names him. Sorry. Okay. Um, so... Double penetration. Yes. Now, okay, so you've conquered, like, the... I mean, that's... Like, you're really setting goals here. Okay, yeah. anal seemed like a big hurdle for you to overcome. Yeah. So, like... So, when we initially... How did you do two? Yeah. So, when we initially first started talking about the movie um, and doing, like, a showcase of my first anal, 
Um, we knew that we wanted to make it an all anal showcase. I waited so long to do anal. We're like, like, hey, let's just go all out. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I had joked about, like during our meeting, I joked about that I would probably enjoy DP more because I've heard about so many girls saying that DP is way better than anal, like just anal. And, um, you know, I like, I never done a DP in my personal life, but, you know, I've like been fucked with like a butt plug and like, mm-hmm. I love that. And, and then they're like, okay, well, what do you think about putting it in there? Like, you know, and I'm like, you know what? Like, you're right. Fuck it. Like, let's do it. And yeah, DP was the one thing that I had never done in my personal life. Like I knew when we were going to do it for the movie, you know, Cody asked me, he's like, do you want to try it like off camera first, like with another, you know, person like in me. And I'm like, I thought about it. But I was like, you know what? Like if I can, anal was a big thing. I, I'm like, I need to know how to do this. Mm-hmm. But the DP, I was like, I want to save this for, for the camera because I, mm-hmm. I knew that I was going to probably really like it. Mm-hmm. And I did like anal can be the most like intense orgasm ever but it also is like can be really tricky to like get to that point um because it's such a like overwhelming feeling Mm -hmm. but when there's like a dick in your pussy at the same time oh my god it's like the best feeling ever like any of like uncomfort that can come with anal it's like just gone once there's like also a dick in your pussy it like i don't know it it's kind of not distracting from like what's happening in your ass but I don't know. It just feels so good. Like, I'm obsessed with it now. Like, I cannot wait until I can do (laughs) another one again. So why do you think that is? Do you think that it just relaxes you more? Yeah, I think it's, like, that added pleasure Mm -hmm. because, like, sometimes I'm having a difficult time, like, prepping for – because I'll, like, prep with my partner before Mm -hmm. an anal scene. Sometimes I'll, like – I'll use a Hitachi, like, to get myself to that first Mm -hmm. orgasm, and then it's, like – a lot more easier after that so I think it's just that added like sensation of pleasure that really adds to the overall feeling and then yeah. also makes like your ass feel really good yeah so yeah that makes sense I remember um there was a, a god I can't remember who it was a porn star who was telling me that her trick to anal was actually making herself come with a Hitachi one before yes doing the anal yes. because then it automatically relaxes you mm-hmm. which totally makes sense yeah 